What's going on YouTube? My name is Chris and welcome to A Modern Nation. Today I've got a very special episode. I'm going to be doing a mod video on the OnePlus 5. It's modding time. That's right, I know I haven't done a mod video in a while now. Imagine that, a YouTube channel with no mod videos. Just, just sad. I'm really excited to dig my claws into this phone. So today I'm gonna to show you how to unlock the bootloader, install a custom recovery, and root your OnePlus 5. I'm gonna show you how to unlock the bootloader, install a custom recovery, and root the OnePlus 5. Wait. That's a Nexus 5. So where's my OnePlus 5? All right, so you guys might have noticed that this video is recorded in 4K. Yes, this is a very special episode of A Modern Nation because this is my first 4K video. I'm not really sure how this is gonna turn out. I'm really uh, kind of nervous about it. Uh, because I've never rendered a uh, 4K video before in its native form. I'm going to give this a shot, and it is also going to test out the video capabilities of the OnePlus 5. I guess you could call this a continuation of my previous review video. By the way, if you haven't seen that video, you can watch it by clicking on the card in the upper right corner. All right, without further delay, let's do this! So the first thing we want to do is make sure that we have the newest version of Oxygen OS on our OnePlus 5 and we can do that by going down to about phone in your settings menu. At the time of this video the latest version of Oxygen is 4.5.6 so make sure you have that version installed before you start modding your phone. Alright so now while we're here we're going to turn on developer mode if it isn't already turned on and you can do that by hitting the build number seven times. So now we're gonna go back and we're gonna see that there's a new option called developer mode. While we're in developer mode, there are three options that we're gonna to wanna to change. First, we wanna make sure that we've checked OEM unlocking. The next option we're gonna check off is advanced reboot. And advanced reboot is going to give us two new options when we go to reboot our phone. One is to reboot into recovery and the other is to reboot into fast boot mode. And finally, the last option we wanna turn on is USB debugging. If you haven't done so already, connect the OnePlus 5 to your computer with the USB cable included. If your computer doesn't detect your phone, you're gonna to need to install the USB drivers. Simply look for the icon that says USB drivers in my computer, double click that and go through the installation process. When unlocking the bootloader, it's gonna delete everything off of your phone. So make sure that you have everything backed up. That includes pictures, messages, anything that you wanna keep. There are three files that you're gonna need for this process. The first is a custom recovery, such as TeamWin Recovery Project or Twerp. You're gonna need some sort of rooting program, such as SuperSue, or in this case, Magisk. And finally, you're gonna need a way to access your Android phone using the Android SDK tools. I provided links to these files in the video description below. I'll also be posting links to the original websites in case newer versions are available at a later time. Now back to our regularly scheduled program already in progress. So we're gonna back out into the main menu. We're back on the home screen. Now we're gonna click the power button. That's gonna give us the power off and restart. And if we click restart, we'll notice that we're presented with two new options, one of which is fast boot mode and the other is recovery. So you'll see the logo below that says fast boot if you've entered fast boot mode properly and you're presented with this menu. And if you look down at the bottom here, it'll say that your device status is currently locked. We want this to say unlocked. So now that we're in fast boot mode, let's go to the computer. We're going to right click and hit shift and then we're gonna open a command prompt. So now we're gonna go in and type fast boot devices and we should see that our phone pops up yet again. This means that our phone is in fast boot mode and is being read by our desktop. All right, so next, and you wanna listen carefully, you're gonna type in fast boot OEM unlock. All right, we're gonna to check to make sure that's spelled right. O-E-M-U-N-L-O-C-K. If you type that in correctly, we'll hit enter. All right, so the phone is gonna ask us if you want to unlock the bootloader and you're gonna say, no, not really. You know, I was thinking about doing it. I'm just not sure, you know, I was just kidding. I'm not really. No, of course you're gonna click yes. That's why we're here, right? 
So you're gonna click yes, and you're gonna do that by using the volume rocker to select yes, and then you're gonna hit the power button to confirm. All right, so now the phone is gonna start uh, rebooting a number of times. You're gonna see that it's wiping the device, and I warned you, if you didn't back anything up, your information is now gone. All right, so now we're back at the welcome screen. It's like we have a brand new phone. So you get to set up everything all over again. Fun. All right, so once you do that, we're gonna make sure that developer mode is turned on. You could do that by going into settings and check to see that developer mode is still there. So when we go into developer mode, we're gonna check again to make sure that our options are still selected. OEM unlock should be grayed out if you've done everything correctly thus far. Advanced reboot, make sure that's still turned on. And USB debugging, make sure that's turned on as well. So now we're gonna take our Magisk file. We're gonna make sure we move that to a ADB to our ADB folder so we know exactly where it is. We're going to right click and hit shift and then we're going to open a command prompt. We're going to transfer the file to our downloads folder and to do that we're going to use an ADB push command. So in order to do that we're going to type in ADB push then the name of our file which in this case is going to be magisk, M-A-G-I-S-K dot zip. So make sure that the file name is correct for whatever version you're using. And next, we're gonna space it, and then we're gonna tell it where we want it to go. So in this case, we want it to go to our downloads folder. So we're gonna type in backslash storage slash emulated slash zero slash download. And if everything is correct, hit enter. And now we're gonna go back to our phone and check to see if the file is in our downloads folder. Might require some refreshing. And like that, it's right there. I guess you could say it's magisk. No? Okay. All right. Never mind. All right. So now we've pushed our file to our device. We're going to go ahead and reboot back into fast boot mode. And we can do that by hitting the power button and going to restart. And we're going to restart into fast boot mode. So once we're in fast boot mode, we're going to come back to the computer, make sure our command prompt is still open. Now what we're going to do is we're going to flash the recovery file. So make sure that your recovery file is in the same folder as your ADB installation folder. And then we're going to type in fast boot devices to make sure that our device is still connected. And it is, which is good. And then we're going to type in fast boot flash recovery and then the name of our recovery file. In this case, we're using twerp. All right, so now we're gonna hit enter, and when we're done with that, we're gonna reboot into our recovery mode, and we can do that by using our volume rocker and selecting recovery from the menu, and when we've selected it, hit the power button, so now our phone is gonna reboot into recovery. All right, so we are in twerp recovery, Hang on guys, we are almost done. We are in the final stretch. So it's gonna tell you some options about, uh, you know, not messing with systems and you want twerp to be read only. Uh, just ignore that. Select language if English is not your first language. And we're gonna slide to activate. We're gonna go to install. And now we're gonna navigate to the file where we put our magisk, which if you remember correctly, was our downloads folder. So we're gonna select our downloads folder and there it is, there's Magisk 3.1.1. All right, so we're gonna select that file and then we're going to swipe across the bottom in order to flash that zip file. All right, so now we're gonna wipe Dalvik cache just to make sure that that is cleared up and then restart our device. Now it's gonna ask you if you wanna install the Twerp official program. That's cool if you wanna do it, I've elected to do it. You don't have to do it, but I recommend that you do because it's actually a, a pretty decent app. All right, so now that our device is restarted, we can now go back into our apps and we'll see this new app that has a mask icon. This is our Magisk program. And we can click to the menu in the left and you can see we now have super user access. So now anytime you have a program that requires root, Magisk will prompt and ask if you can grant root to this program and you can say yes or no. Congratulations guys, we've done three things today. One, we unlocked our bootloader. Two, we flashed a custom recovery and now we have rooted our device. Take a well-deserved break because you deserve it. <sighs> I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, do me a favor by hitting that like button below and sharing the video. Join the nation, oh, the plane's going by. Join the nation and get subscribed today by clicking on the subscribe button below. And when you do, click on the bell icon inside of the subscribe button to be notified the moment that I release new YouTube videos. 
I'm releasing new YouTube videos every week end. I'm releasing new YouTube videos every week end. So you have something to watch on Monday morning when you have the volume muted and you don't want to work. Just <laughs> ruining productivity for everyone. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Leave me a comment down in the comment section and let me know what do you think of this guide? Was this helpful to you? And do you plan on rooting your cell phone? If you have any other questions or comments, you can leave them for me in the comment section below. And as always, you can reach me by social media. I'm available via Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And you can catch me streaming video games every Friday and Saturday evening. The times are listed to my right. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this guide on rooting and unlocking the bootloader for the OnePlus 5, and I hope to see you in the